cheeky face on. Hi everyone and welcome to Pro Tools Answers where three Pro Tools experts discuss, demonstrate and elaborate on your Pro Tools questions put to the community in Avid's official Facebook support forum. And as Andy and myself Dave take you deep into the workings of Pro Tools technique and ethos to help the user community understand and get the best out of their investment and we hope that our tutorials and discussions and the odd quip here and there are helping you do just that. Um, in this episode, we're going to be looking at a question from Carl, who asks this. Having trouble using Audio Suite plugins? My audio is not auditioning out of the Audio Suite plugins uh, out to my headphones. Um, and Andy wants to talk about how we can get Audio Suite plugins to come through <laughs> to headphones. So we just. Sweet. Dude. Right, um, so, <laughs> um, so, so let's take a look real quickly because there's a couple of things that are probably the problem and there's one thing that a lot of folks aren't aware of that might be the problem. So let me share my screen here with you guys. Boink. Um, what probably is the problem, um, if you're not hearing something that you're trying to hear when you're, when you're previewing, it's probably going to be what's called your audition path. Um, and so if you go into setup, into IO, so here's my IO setup window, um, in the output tab, you'll see down here, the second thing down here is your audition path. Now what your audition path is, is that's the output path that your sounds will go in specific situations. When you're previewing it in audio suite, when you're previewing it in the um, workspace browser and when you're previewing it from the clip list, which I'm going to show you all three of those things in just a second. Uh, so right and now. And the yep. import audio box. Import. Exactly right. Yep, exactly right. I don't think yep, you mentioned that one. If you did, I apologize. No, no, I didn't. And, and you're 100% right, 0% wrong. Um, now, normally, it well, commonly, um, this output this audition path is the same as your main speaker's output path, but not always, right? So let's say you're working in a dub stage with a team of other um, other mixers at the same time. You don't want your, you know, if you're searching for sound effects, you may not want those to come out of your main speakers. Or if you're working in a commercial studio, you, you might not want your client sitting behind you listening to you search for the right snare hits. So from time to time, if your interface supports it, um, and mine doesn't because I'm going through Zoom right now. But if you have multiple outputs for your interface, you can choose any of those outputs as your audition path. And, you know, so for a lot of times uh, you might have your audition path go to an output that's routed to some headphones that are, are on a hook, you know, right underneath your, your desk, which is very commonly done in studio situations. However, and this is where I think we're answering the, the poster's question, is if you have this set to any output other than the ones that are connected to some sort of listening device, you're not going to be able to hear it. So for, mm -hmm. you know, if you have, you know, multiple outputs and you've got this assigned to something that's not output to anything, then you can preview stuff in audio suite or in the workspace browser or in the clips list, and you're not going to hear a thing. So what probably is the issue is that he either has a set to no output or he has it set to an output that isn't connected to, you know, a sound generating device. That's, mm -hmm probably what's going on. So what I've got here is I've got output one and two, which was my only available output in this situation, and that's my audition path. Now, the sneaky thing is that the audition path is shared by a number of different parts of Pro Tools. So for example, I'm going to open up, uh, let's see, we're gonna open up a workspace browser. Boink, we're gonna pop you over there. And you can see here that I can preview stuff uh, from the workspace browser and you'll see here that my volume for previewing is set to 0, 0.0 okay now i'm going to also open up i'll select uh, the drums over here which, which should be which reason. should be unity gain not off which should be unity yeah. gain that's right um and i'm going to go to audio suite and i'm going to go to oh, i don't know it doesn't really even matter i'll go to do, do, do mod delay three it doesn't really matter because i'm not going to do anything with it and you'll see down here i've got an audition path too which is what he's not hearing mm -hmm. now this is also set to minus zero now watch what happens if i go into the workspace browser and change this volume See what just happened oh, in my audio cool. suite window? Hmm. Same thing happened. Why? Because these are the, the, the volume controls for both of these are completely linked. So 
if Which I makes wanted sense. to, mm-hmm. that's what makes mm-hmm. com- yeah. makes complete sense. Mm-hmm. But if you don't know that, then yeah. you could get you can get dinged by it, right? Mm-hmm. So if I wanted to preview this, I go ahead and click this, and I'm previewing just fine. Great. If I go over here and bring this down for whatever reason, if I try to preview it, mm-hmm. is it working? Yes, <laughs> but it's not making any sound because the volume's all the way down, right? Mm-hmm. Now, there's another um, way that you can preview that isn't as commonly done, but it's very, very useful, and that's previewing from the clips list directly. And so if I hold down the option key and if I click on a clip that I want to hear, you can hear it from here, right? This is also, this way of previewing is also going out of the audition path, which you've set in the IO setup window, and it's also subject to this volume setting. So if I bring this all the way down and I do the same thing, is it previewing? Actually, yes, <laughs> but you're not hearing anything because the volume's all the way down, mm. right? So that's one of those things that can, that can get you, and now you hear it, completely fine. So just remember, one, set your audition path, and that's gonna choose audio suite and, and the workspace browser and, and the audio file import window to, to mention it. Mm. And then also remember that the volume changes, the volume settings that you make in either the audio suite window or the workspace browser window will reflect on each other and mm. also will affect the, the previewing level of anything that you preview in the clips list. Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, uh, that can easily catch you off guard, right? Oh, completely. Yeah. That's the beauty of this show, you guys. There's these little little tidbits that have a really big effect on something seemingly very simple. It's it's not obvious that those are intrinsically linked. You know, this is if there if we're experts in any way, it's because between the three of us we've made every possible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and, and after making this mistake a total of a million times, we've We've remembered it, and, and hopefully we can keep you from falling into the same, mm. you know, rabbit holes that we did. Yeah, indeed. All right. Really great little episode. Nice one, Andy. Nicely done. You're so if uh, if you like that and if that helped you, uh, hit the, the, the like uh, button on the video. Um, if you could subscribe to Pro Tools Answers uh, on YouTube if you haven't yet done so. We have tons of other stuff like this, uh, the go- subjects that go into way loads of depth. It's, it's all about just making you aware of what the software is, what it's capable of, what it does, how the features work, um, how it's supposed to be used, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, so go go digging. There's a lot of gold to be mined in this channel. Uh, if you head over to ProToolsAnswers.com, you can subscribe over there, and Andy will write to you every week to let you know what we're up to. And if you fancy taking that next step and you're you're able to do so, um, even in these difficult times, um, you can join our own Pro Tools Answers Inner Circle and support the channel. Um, and there are some benefits attached to that as well and uh, you can learn all about those over at protoolsanswers.com um all leads me to say is thank you very much to andy you betcha and thank you very much to cheeky little anders thank you my name's dave this is protools answers we'll see you next time and we're out